What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about how to download your music library from Google Play Music. In general, it's good practice to back up online data such as music to a local location. That way you can access it in the event that you can't get online. Backing up data offline and to multiple sources also reduces the chances that that data is lost. Now, in order to download your music library, you're gonna to have to access Google Play Music in a web browser. Before we get into the tutorial, here is a quick tip to make things a little easier. You can download the Google Play Music Chrome Web extension from the Chrome Web Store. The link for this can also be found in the description below. With the Chrome Web extension, you can access Google Play Music faster. Once you get to Google Play Music in a web browser, you can also create a shortcut and place that on the toolbar. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now let's talk about how to download your music from Google Play Music. You see that we have a screen recording here. Now I have my web browser open and I already have the web address here. And I'm gonna provide this in the description below, but if you're interested now, this is going to be the web address to get to Google Play Music in a web browser. So we're going to start by clicking on the three bars in the top left hand corner. Now you can see we have this side menu pop up and we're gonna look for a gear icon with the term settings next to it and we're gonna go down to that and click on it. Now you can see that the page refreshed and this is going to be the account settings page. Now we can scroll down to a section called download folder and this is actually a step before we download the music. We wanna have a location where the music is downloaded to. So we'll run through this and I'll click on the drop down menu and we'll do this as though I have never done it before. So I'm gonna select a folder. So we have a new pop-up window here and I'm gonna create a new folder. And I like to title my folder the month, day, and year. That way I know when I did my last music backup. So we're gonna title this 041820 and then we're gonna click open. Now, sometimes this doesn't work perfectly. You can see that it didn't really change the folder. So we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna select folder again. And then I'm going to pull this screen over so I can get a better look. We're gonna look for that folder that I just created. So that's gonna be in music. We've got 041820. We can click open. Now you can see that this folder is actually selected. Now, if you look underneath this, we have an option to always use this location and you can do this if you like. Personally, I don't do it because when I go to do a new music backup, I'm going to create a new folder. Again, that way I know when I did my last music backup. So now that we have our folder selected, we can go down to the download library section. There's gonna be a download icon and we're gonna click on that. And then we're just gonna make sure that again, the correct folder is selected. And again, you have that option to always use this location. We're gonna skip that again. And I'm just gonna click download now. Now, if everything is working correctly, you're going to see this icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and it actually gives you an update here. You can see that the numbers are changing as the time goes by here. We've got 11 of 952 songs downloaded. Now, there are two important things you have to remember when downloading your music or other data from a web browser. And that is make sure that you don't navigate from the web browser page that you are on that's actually downloading the online data, but also make sure that you don't close the web browser. If you do any of these two, you probably have to restart the download process again. Now there is a possible issue that you may have, and that is you won't be able to download music from Google Play Music if you have too many authorized devices. Now I made a video about how to fix this issue as well. So if you're having this warning come up and you can't download your music library, you're gonna to wanna to click on the card in this video. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.